Hey, what's up you guys? It's Matt here, back again with another video. Uh, for today, I wanna go over a quick review of this uh, 22 liter backpack that I've been using from Visvim for the past month. And uh, I kinda wanna go over the basic uh, material quality and construction and just uh, show you guys what Visvim has to offer when it comes to their uh, backpacks and accessories and things like that. Uh, hopefully over the years, I'll, I'll be investing in other accessories and I can review those. Um, I'm really interested in seeing if their wallets are any good and then um, satchel bags and uh, things like that. Uh, so yeah, for this review, it's just gonna be this 22 liter backpack and let's get into it. Okay, so first off, the uh, backpack actually comes with a garment bag here, much like the garment bags you see on their higher offering outerwears. Um, so pretty much just an off-white eggshell, um, kind of like canvas tote bag with some handles at the top and then a top zipper. This is the uh, Cordura 22 liter. And as you can see, it color is olive and from the spring summer 2022 collection. Here are the tags that come with the bag. Um, as you can see, uh, Visvim Cordura 22 liter retail there was $930. Um, it does use Cordura Dora fabric. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, moving on to the actual bag itself. Um, so judging from the name, this carries a 22 liter capacity. So basic quality and construction. The outer shell is made out of a uh, Cordura nylon, which is a very, very rough and thick nylon fabric. Um, they're known for being very tear resistant and very durable over long periods of time. Uh, this is the same fabric that they use on many of their uh, Cristo sandals. And uh, yeah, so it's gonna be a perfect material for a backpack like this, especially because these last upwards of 10 to 15 years and uh, it will really stand the test of time. Uh, and then on the bottom here, we have a French vegetable tanned uh, lamb skin uh, dyed in this nice olive tonal color to match the uh, Cordura fabric. On the back side here, we have a really nice padded um, back. It also has padded straps as well. It just makes it that much more comfortable and then has a little bit of a cool racing style design. We have adjusting straps here on the top and then we have a uh, belt enclosure just like that. And you can adjust these as well at the bottom and then make this tighter if need be. Um, the top here, we have a really nice handle and then it's finished in this uh, wraparound leather uh, handle cover. And then it actually does feature Visman branded copper snap buttons. This piece, not really sure what it does. Um, could just be extra reinforcement, but I'm not sure why they added this uh, snap button here. Doesn't really do much. So I'm not really sure what this feature is, but maybe just a, a design detail um, from Visvim. Uh, so on the front here, we have a, a front pocket. Um, it also features this Kion leather tongue tab with Visvim branding using lacquer paint drips. Um, this front pocket is extremely, extremely large, if you can tell. Um, I used to have a Herschel backpack before this, and this, you could barely fit anything in this front pouch. So it's very nice to see kind of like the 3D um, effect and room that you have on this front pouch. It's uh, super helpful. Um, the zippers themselves are a um, Visvim branded YKK. So as you can see it has a little bit of Visvim branding right here. And then there is this, um, they call it Vislon YKK. And then all the zippers also have a leather uh, zipper pull as well. Uh, on the front here, I did put some pins that I had just to give it a cool effect. Um, hopefully I can fill this thing out with uh, really cool like trinkets and stuff from Visvim and just uh, make this my own. Uh, moving along, we have the uh, first of many uh, 
kind of like entry points and um, different locations to put things in. So this front area opens up like this and you have a little pouch here with a zipper inside and you can actually um, put maybe headphones through this. This actually attaches down into this front flap and you can um, draw headphones or any kind of electronic devices out of here and uh, be able to attach things without actually unzipping. Um, and then for this, it's literally just a huge, huge pouch um, to fit all kinds of things. And then you have a little um, elasticated um, pouch in here. And this is kind of like a stretchy, maybe like fiber cloth material. So you don't have to worry about it scratching or damaging any of the items you put in there. Um, and yeah, so this is just pretty much like the main um, point where you put anything and everything you want. Um, as I said before, this does use a corridor door nylon for the shell, but they also add a nylon that goes over the zipper for kind of um, a little bit of reinforcement and to allow the zippers to not age as quick. Um, and this also does feature a side entry point into the same um, pouch that we talked about previously. And it's nice if you want to uh, find something really quick and you don't want to open up the, the whole front um, thing. It's just a nice uh, thing to have. And then we have this further entry point. So this is the second kind of like main entry. And this, it almost opens up sideways, um, like sideway. It doesn't open up all the way. So what I usually use this for is my laptop. So it has this 15 inch carrying capacity for a laptop. And this is very, very tight. So whatever you put in here is gonna be very secure. And then you can actually strap it down with this nylon uh, Velcro situation. And then this also has a Velcro in the back here. And this is attaching to the backside of the padding. And then you can actually take this fiber board out. This fiber board um, is meant to kind of like straighten up your back uh, when you have this on. But if it's too uncomfortable, you can obviously take the fiber board out. Um, but yeah, this is really cool detail that Visvim um, added to it. Just um, no one would think of adding something for uh, lumbar support in a backpack. I've never seen that before. Um, so that's a really, really cool detail. And uh, that pretty much wraps it up. Um, we have a few more little areas that you can access. Uh, we have a very, very small pouch here on the side and you can fit, this one's very small as you can see, it only fits about half my hand, but you can fit maybe um, AirPod case or any little thing you want, maybe a small snack or whatever um and yeah so i'm pretty sure that is it um when i first got this backpack i was finding new areas every single day and very amazed with how uh func functional this is and uh all the little things uh, little details you won't notice but they really make an impact um, when you really look at the full scope and see the attention to detail when it comes to uh, their backpack and accessories so um, in my opinion, they take just as much time on their clothing and footwear as they do with their accessories. And it's very, very impressive. Uh, at the retail price of $930, um, I wouldn't say this is worth that price. I don't think most Visum at retail is worth the price, but I did get this for 500. And I think if you can find this for like the 500, $600 range, um, or below, I'd say go for it. These things will literally last um, 15 to 20 years. Um, and uh, yeah, I see constant uh, listings of these uh, that they made in 2005 that are still in very, very good condition and um, they will really last a long time. So I would say it's worth that price. Um, if you do a cost per wear, let's just say every single time you wear this, uh, it's a dollar. Um, if you wear this for 600 days or two, three years, um, every single day, you're pretty much uh, paying for it there and um, it will last tenfold of that. So I, I just think it's really worth it. 
and I like how functional it is and really good for everyday essentials and wear and such things. And yeah, so that is the 22 liter uh, Cordura backpack. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I know I had a, a lot of people who asked uh, me to review these backpacks and accessories and I hope this becomes a constant series on the channel. Um, I'm really excited to check out um, their other offerings in the accessory category. Okay, so that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel. It really helps me out. Uh, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Grail. The links will be in the description below. Uh, also, don't forget to put uh, post notifications on both YouTube and Instagram so you don't miss any of the Vism content or the Vism listings I'll be doing in the future. Uh, thank you for watching and have a good one.